Hey everyone, my name is Nicholas Warner, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing Adobe Lightroom's new AI noise reduction against the standard noise reduction slider, as well as the Topaz Photo AI noise reduction. Uh, now, a lot of people are kind of talking about this new feature, uh, but for myself, I wanted to throw kind of the worst of the worst at it, or the most challenging photo I could think of, or the most challenging noise scenario I could think of. So I took out this photo uh, of a old Buick in Death Valley with the Milky Way above it. And you can see it's not a bad photo, but it was shot at ISO 25,600. Um, so this is obviously way, way above what normal usage would be. But I figure to kind of test the limits or to test how well the noise reduction software works, I would just go ahead and use a ridiculous photo for that. Uh, so you can see it's not too bad, but as soon as I zoom in, you can see the image is pretty, pretty awful. Actually, the you know the detail of the image, there is tons of noise in all of the dark spots, a lot of color noise. If I go over back here, you can see uh, the areas that are quite a bit you know darker have this uh, almost rainbow look to them. Uh, the mountains back here look really weird. Everything just looks, you know, kind of off. Uh, the focus is okay, but the detail is certainly lacking. So let's go ahead and see how that new AI noise reduction works. So I'm simply going to right click, go over to enhance and have denoise checked. Now I'm just going to leave it at the regular amount, which is 50 and see how this works out. Here's the menu for the Adobe Lightroom Enhance function for denoise. Uh, it gives you an estimated wait time, in this case, seven minutes. Uh, you know, a little ridiculous, but it's doing, you know, kind of the AI work. And then it shows uh, kind of a preview of your image. And if I simply click anywhere on the photo, then it will show this kind of preview. And then in a minute or so, it will load and kind of give an uh, estimation of what the denoise will look like. So honestly, this looks pretty good. We're just gonna go ahead and click enhance and wait the seven minutes. All right, so the denoise process finished and now I have my enhanced noise reduction DNG. Uh, so let's go ahead and zoom in and see how it did. So it's actually looking pretty Pretty impressive, to be honest. Um, you know, obviously, right away, I can tell uh, any of the areas where there were blacks or you know heavy, deep, dark shadows. Um, it looks like it didn't quite know what to do with those, um, so those are still quite noisy. I have a feeling if I bring down the blacks, those will go away or it won't be so noticeable. Um, but honestly, it's really, really clean. Um, you know, you, you're kind of panning around this and I can tell that, you know, some sort of uh, effect is applied to it. There's some kind of weird looking stuff going on with the hood of the car. Um, the, these spots were already there. It was, it was a frosty morning, but uh, there's some like weird reshaping going on. I don't know if everything, if all of these lines were exactly there in the original, uh, but I suppose that's to be expected with AI software. Um, looking around though, kind of the detail and the sagebrush out here, it, it looks really good. Um, it's definitely more clear than the original photo. Um, you know, there's still definitely a good amount of noise in the background. And then coming up to the Milky Way, it's also pretty good, although there is some kind of weird stuff going on in between all of the stars. Um, and there's a few little patches, like random patches of like yellow or blue down here. Uh, it looks pretty good though. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, and again, let's just go ahead and compare that with the original. So let's go ahead and zoom in right here on the front of the car and see how that came out. Um, yeah, you can see the, the, what I was talking about with the, um, kind of randomized, lines or kind of randomized textures, it, it looks good. Uh, or you can like kind of make out what the textures should look like in the high ISO super noisy one compared with this uh, denoise AI, uh, or excuse me, the enhance AI uh, looks pretty good though. I'm, I'm honestly pretty impressed and I will definitely be using this in the future.
So the Lightroom AI noise reduction did a pretty good job, but now let's go ahead and see how the Topaz Photo AI does. So I'm just going to go up here to Photo, Edit In, and then Edit In Topaz Photo AI. We're just going to edit a copy with our Lightroom, Lightroom adjustments. Gonna have TIFF file format, 16 bits, and go ahead and click on Edit. And here we are in Topaz Photo AI. Uh, you can see it has a much larger preview of the image compared to the Lightroom version. Um, and it also has a couple more options under the remove noise feature. Um, so it auto went to strong and uh, high strength uh, at 99 out of 100 and detail retention of 24. Um, so I'm gonna go, go ahead and zoom in a little bit more to see how it does. Let's go to 200%. And you know, this one, it also does a pretty good job at, um, at re removing the noise, but it looks like compared to the Lightroom AI noise reduction, there's some more weird stuff going on in the uh, dark shadows. Let's go ahead and kind of pull up here to the driver's seat area. Yeah, you can see it um, It looks like it doesn't know what to do in this area. Um, it looks like uh, there's still a lot of that multicolored um, kind of rainbow noise. Um, the rest of the car looks good. Let's see, though, about in the Milky Way. Let's go to the Dark Horse area. And it looks like... Um, you know, we're, we're losing quite a bit of detail. So rather than use the strength of 99, let's go ahead and do 50, the same amount of strength that was applied in Lightroom. Um, it still looks like the stars kind of don't have too much detail. Let's see down here in the mountainous area. And that looks really weird. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's pretty awful. Looks very streaky. Uh, if I go down to the sagebrush down here, uh, the sagebrush looks a little bit better, but not great. Um, the car, I think, looks the best. Uh, it seems to have the best detail retention and everything, but you're getting these really strange patches. Um, I will say things like the headlight actually look a lot better in the Topaz Photo AI than the Lightroom AI noise reduction. Um, Let's go ahead and try normal for uh, the strength. And we can see that did almost nothing. Let's see if we can go up to like 90, see how normal does. Again, it's not doing a whole lot. So let's leave it on strong. Let's leave it on 50, call it good, and go ahead and save it back into Lightroom. So we are back in Lightroom and now we can compare side by side how the Topaz stacks up against the Lightroom noise reduction. Um, so Topaz is on the left, uh, Lightroom AI noise reduction is on the right. And let's go ahead and zoom in and see how these stack up. Um, I I'm actually pretty shocked. It's, um, it's not even close uh, when you start panning around. Um, I would say that uh, the Lightroom doesn't handle the deep blacks as well as Topaz does, uh, but the detail found in the Lightroom image is vastly superior compared to what the, um, what the Topaz Photo AI does. Uh, you can see it in the glass, you can see it in the parts of the window here. Um, you can see it kind of in the detail on the door handle. Um, you know, things look, I would say, slightly um, stranger in the uh, Lightroom AI noise reduction. It looks like it's a little bit more liberal in filling in missing blanks with AI than the Topaz version. Uh, like you can see the reflection in this fender over here compared to what is in uh, the Topaz AI noise reduction. But, uh, you know, AI, the Topaz Photo AI, it's made some really, really weird decisions, especially like in the windshield over here in the background. You know, um, the Adobe Lightroom AI, 
it's just kind of left that blank and said, you know, we're not going to do anything with that, um, which I think I can, you know, fix that a little bit just by playing around with the black levels and the contrast. This though, this looks just weird. Um, and you can see the Lightroom has completely removed the color bleed that you see evident in the uh, Topaz Photo Wave I version. Um, you can still tell the color bleed between these and look at the detail on the stars on the Lightroom AI. It is not even close. Um, let's go up to the Galaxy uh, or the Milky Way itself. And again, so much more detail retention in Lightroom versus uh, versus the topaz it's actually kind of miraculous um again zooming in there's a couple weird inconsistencies some random colors and and strange shapes in here but honestly i'm taking that any day over uh over what the topaz gives me um i'm not going to delete topaz denoise uh, or topaz photo ai i'm sure they're going to eventually come out with updates um, and these kind of two companies are going to be competing for a while. Uh, but uh, I think that the clear winner is obviously Lightroom AI. All right, guys, we are not done yet. Uh, for the last comparison, I wanted to see how everything stacks up against just the regular noise reduction slider and noise reduction methods uh, available in uh, Lightroom before this update. So let's go ahead and go into the develop module, come over here to the detail panel, and let's go ahead and take that noise reduction from luminance. Let's go ahead all the way up to 50 or so. Let's kind of zoom in and see how that's doing. We might even go a little bit higher than that. maybe up to around 70. And I think this probably looks the worst out of all of them, although that's to be expected. Um, the one thing I will say is that it does not have the, the weirdness in the color um, or the smeariness of the color noise that um, Topaz Photo AI does. Uh, coming around looks okay. There's still a little bit of crispness in the stars, although it has some kind of weird haloing around everything. Um, overall, it looks all right though. So let's compare the noise reduction slider with the Adobe Lightroom Enhance AI noise reduction. Uh, zooming in here, you know, um, I would say it's you know still clear that the uh, noise in the shadows is not as good, um, but overall, I think there's quite a bit more detail, especially going around to like the backside of this car and especially in the stars up here. That's where we can really, really see uh, how much better the AI handles everything. Um, there's just so much more detail in everything. Um, same with the sagebrush down here. Um, this looks pretty blurry. This looks like it's nice and crisp. Um, and then going up to uh, the actual night sky, going up here, the stars are much crisper in the enhanced AI Lightroom noise reduction. And there it is. That was the comparison between the standard Lightroom noise reduction slider, the new enhanced AI noise reduction in Lightroom, and the Topaz Photo AI noise reduction. Um, I think it's obvious the clear winner here is the new uh, Adobe Lightroom Enhance AI noise reduction. I'm very impressed with it. Um, I still think it has a little bit of a ways to go in the deep dark shadows, but overall it's a really impressive improvement to Lightroom and I'm very excited to see how it continues to improve down the road.